we took a couple week hiatus um but we're back into it now and let me show you what i've done since you've seen us last which is not a lot but i did get the linoleum off of this closet floor there's a pile of it if you can remember from our last room that we did the, that closet was covered in that old gnarly linoleum i got it all up with the heat gun and that five-way tool and i didn't video it because it's the most boring thing in the world and it's just a pain in the behind so what i'm going to do right now i think is sand the floor um once that's done i'm going to get this room cleaned up and we are going to frame around this old chimney so in the other room we chipped off all that old plaster and exposed the chimney well this chimney is inside this closet so i'm not going to spend all my time and energy and effort knocking that plaster off and exposing that chimney because it's just going to be inside this closet and you're never going to see it um we've got to fix that header up there there's some water damage from that chimney years ago so i'm gonna i'm gonna have to support the ceiling cut that header out replace it that shouldn't be too bad once that's done whoa it's about busted once that's done um clean this room up start putting drywall up you know we've slowed down on the renovation a little bit um i was just getting too ambitious trying to get too much done and frankly burning myself out to the point where i just didn't even want to work on it so i've talked myself into slowing down and taking a little more time and uh hopefully that'll help alleviate the burnout to the point where i just don't even want to mess with it so that's the approach i'm taking and uh no sweat we're gonna be living here a long time i got a lot of time to work on this house so and i don't want to rush things and do things poorly i want to get things done right done well so that's what i'm gonna do so far got this back corner done where the belt sander won't be able to get i got the edges done all the way around and i think when i rent the belt sander i can get it in here and get enough i mean this if i use the palm sander on this this is another hour two hours just forever hours so I got I'm next to the edges. I'm gonna when I get the belt sander, I'll finish it. So right now I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go get some lumber. I'm gonna actually have to buy lumber this time. Because these are 10 foot. Well, these are nine foot ceilings. I'll have to get 10 foot two by fours. Cut them a little bit, but I don't want to scab this together. So I'm gonna frame out for this and then start. I start drywall. All right, I just went and picked up lumber and the drywall for the closet. About ready to get started on that. Okay, I got a little temporary support here. I'm going to jack it ceiling up a little bit, not much, so that I can get in there and cut that header out and redo it. And I use some scrap, I'm doing it this way because I'm using some scrap pieces of wood 
rather than cutting my new boards, I just bought. Uh, I think it's gonna be all right. I've had these jacks for, I don't even know, 20 years, 25 years. Bought them at a, a uh, discount. Wholesaler plays. This is pretty punky. Real punky. All right. You can see how bad that is. So it looks like we got the weight off of it pretty good. I get a bigger hammer. Okay, first piece of drywall's up. Getting the closet done today. It's gonna be a long day of cutting and hauling back and forth to the garage. Good times. Bang that into place.
All right, <clears throat> drywall is up. We're drywalled everywhere. Got the floor battened down. That one piece that was loose. No treasures. Um, getting ready to put on some mud. Got all my spatulas and my trowels. Helper. I'm not helping. Watcher. <laughs> yeah, spectator. Preliminary coat of mud on all of the horizontals and verticals, tape joints. Um, once that dries a little bit, I'll come back in here and do the corners. Uh, one, two, three, four, five corners plus that edge. Mud on it. all the corners. So I got to do that. This edge, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Once all this other stuff dries, got some on the ceiling. All right. What a day. I wasn't about to film all this mud stuff. It's just the same thing over and over again. So we'll show you bits and pieces of what I'm getting done as I'm getting it done. All right, I came in this morning and quickly wiped the walls down with wet sponge and got most of the chunks knocked off and uh, Gonna begin to put on the second coat. All right, second coat of mud on. Let that dry. Man, that's tough back in there. That is about 16 inches wide, and it is hard to get back there. <clears throat> but I did it. Okay, third day, and I think maybe the final day on walls in this place. I'm going to uh, just do a little touch up in some areas like that. So I'll just skim a little bit on some areas to smooth things out. And I'm gonna go get paint. I'm going to um, put on the primer and then I'm going to paint it today. I'll be done. I think I'm going to buy the trim too. I'll buy the trim, put it on. No, I won't. Because I got to do the floors. Got to do the floors first. So, <clears throat> paint, that's really it. I'm doing it today. It's going to be done. All right. Primer and paint are done. Now I am going to, I think, sand the rest of this floor. I think I said I was going to wait and do the, get the uh, big sander. I'm not. I'm going to get it done. And then I'm going to water lock it and put the trim up. And I'm going to be done with this closet. Just so I'm done with the closet. I just want to be done with it. So, um, yeah, sorry, this is not really a great uh, video with showing you everything I'm doing, but it's just really tight in that closet. And I don't want to have to keep getting down, putting the camera, moving the camera, kicking the camera over, moving it around. I mean, it just would be a real pain in the butt. So, um, I'm gonna send a float. Uh, today, we are, where are we going today? The Nationals. We are going to the Nationals. 
U.S. Nationals. It is uh, at Lucas Oil Raceway, and um, this is the biggest drag race in the world. Um, so this will be the top fuel cars, the funny cars, pro mods, drag bikes, and uh, all that cool stuff. So if you have never been to a, a drag race like this, it would be worth it to go once, um, maybe twice, because it is incredible. When these things take off, it is it is unbelievable, the power that they put out. And uh, I've always said it, it shakes your soul when the top fuelers and the funny cars take off in particular. Um, but it's going to be exciting. So me, Kristen, and Quinn have been a couple of times. It's first time for the other two. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to bring you along. <coughs> <coughs> I knew. So it's raining. Um, we got a storm moving through, as always. And whenever we try to do something fun, it rains. So, which you guys haven't seen that video yet. Yeah, you haven't seen that video yet. <laughs> um, Five we're gonna stop and get something to eat. Maybe uh, let it dry out a little bit because they won't be running right now. So, we're gonna get our bellies full before we go to the track. Hey. So, we made it. It's kind of loud right now, I know. Um, we're in the middle of a rain delay. We decided to come on into our seats. We've got a little window where we might get a little racing in. Um, but they're trying to get the track dry right now. That proved that the right woman with the right talent and the right team could race their way into a Winston championship. Surely, no doubt. I'm really excited. So they're trying to get the track dry. I think if they can get that done, we might get a little bit of racing in before the next storm comes through and we get rained out for the day. So it kind of stinks. That's the way it goes. No matter what we try to do, we get rained out. Guys, everything, like every. Thing fun we're trying to do, it's like sobbing wet, and then when we're doing nothing, it's so pretty. It's true. I'm excited. So we got rained out. Um, we don't know what's going to happen if they're going to postpone today till tomorrow, and then tomorrow into Monday. That would make the most sense. Um, we don't know. We may be doing this all over again tomorrow, so we shall see. Until then, happy rain day. If you're a duck. Alright, we got two coats. Two coats on the floor, two uh. So there's uncoated and versus coated. So two coats, I'm gonna give it a light sanding and then I'm gonna put, I think what'll be a third and final coat of the high gloss of the water locks and uh, that might be it. I think it will be it. We'll see what it looks like when it's done. So that's after we've dried with the glossy. I think I'm gonna have to go another coat of glossy. I think I did, if I remember right, I think I did three coats of regular, one coat of glossy, but I can't remember. But this isn't glossy enough, so I'm gonna go with another coat of glossy on here. 
Um, gotta be done. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna trim this thing out and probably get the heating lines, um, get those heating lines back there in the corner, snaked around, out, and then stub them out of this wall. And uh, again, I wanna be done and finished with this closet before I start the rest of this room. So, and that's my goal and that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna get it done tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, final coat is applied. That's how I want it to shine. <laughs> I want it to reflect the light. It looks so nice. So nice. All right, trim is up. Just gotta cock it in. Um, and then I've got these, I've got this trim, but I've got to sand this jam first and get it, uh, put the tongue oil on it. So I'm just going to cut those so that they're ready, but I'm not going to hang them yet. I think I'll, I'm going to go ahead and sand that today and get some coats get a coat or two on it get it going <clears throat> i should have done it by now but i didn't um and then i'm gonna get the i'm gonna get the pipes for the heat elbowed over there elbow around here and then they got to stub out that wall i wish i could go straight through but the chimney's there so i've got to wrap them around and what and the reason is is because the heat comes from over in that corner. If you can remember in our other video, um, the heat comes from the cellar up through to the bathroom and then splits to that first bedroom we did and then splits this way, goes around this room, through here into our current bedroom and then loops around and comes back on the return and goes back downstairs. So I gotta, I've gotta chase it around through here and that's going to be a good time i'm just going to make it all up i'm going to measure um and make it all up and sweat my elbows in out in the shop and then i'll just have four sweats in here to do i won't have to get back in that corner but we'll have to get there which is going to be a pain to put on the couplings and then i'll have to um sweat the stubs uh to the elbows there but i can get some of the sweating done out in the shop and i have to do it all right here on the floor Hey, all right, so I got my copper lines here. One of them, anyway, ready to go. Um, I got a mark so I can keep them straight. Got this end lined up with this end so they're straight. And uh, I'm gonna take, take it apart. Get the flux put on it. The flux capacitor. I'm gonna sweat it up.
I got everything prepped for my first line. Um, I'm gonna sweat this up now. I got some standoffs installed and I'll carry that around here, go through that wall and this will look really neat and tidy and professional. All right, minor setback where I'm trying to come through with my pipe. There's a stud, wall stud in the way. I wish I would have figured that out before I put on all this fancy drywall and trim all this stuff. Gosh. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it. I've got to build, what's this technical term? I don't know, but I'm gonna put a piece of wood across here and then support it to the floor so that it will carry that wall stud. My guy Jay's gonna love that. 